One of the top themes that China has chosen for this summit is inclusive growth. And this centers around spreading the benefits of economic development to more people around the world. Over the years, China has gone from a country that benefited from greater development to one that promotes it for others. Yang Zhao has more on the G20 theme. More and more developing countries are hoping to learn the model and method of Chinese development. China has sent 60,000 personnel to more than 160 countries over the past 60 years, and it has helped over 120 developing countries reach their Millennium Development Goals. I think China has made a, a lot of effort trying to play a more crucial role in global development. Reducing poverty is, of course, partially it's up to, to the government to learn from China's experience and see how they can apply it. But China can play a role in, in various aspects. Eliminating poverty and trade liberalization are important issues for the G20 summit. So is inclusive finance, a concept aimed at increasing access to financial services among developing countries. We have reached an important consensus on inclusive finance. It is on how to make financial services more comprehensively available to everyone, especially so vulnerable groups can get benefits. The summit also will launch an initiative to support industrial cooperation among African countries. We have included a fourth characterization, which is inclusive. And it's terribly important to talk about the inclusiveness of growth. By that we mean making sure that everybody benefits. So that, that's really a significant shift mm -hmm. uh, of the G20. This idea is aimed to build a sense of community and common destiny across the globe. And in turn, more people may enjoy the benefits of global economy. Yang Zhao, CCTV.